When it comes to creating your own shapes in Visio, <clears throat> you have a number of op operations that make this really easy. There's operations such as union, combine, fragment, intersect and subtract. So let's have a look at these particular shape operations. Now to do the shape operations you need to enable another tab in your ribbon. So for this go to File, go to Options, at the very bottom here, and on the left hand side you will find Customize Ribbon. And then on the right, you'll find that there's an option you can tick called Developer. If it's already ticked, that's fine, just go Cancel. But if it isn't, go to Customize Ribbon, tick Developer and go OK. Now what you'll find in your ribbon is you have an extra tab called Developer. And what we're looking at here is we're actually looking at creating some extra shapes. So I'm going to start by inserting a page. So down below here I'm just going to hit the little button that allows me to insert a page and I'm going to double click its current name and call it Shape Operations and press Enter. The first shape operation I want to show you is a shape operation called Combine when we want to combine two shapes to form one shape. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add under the Home tab I'm going to add using my drawing tools a rectangle. So I'll click Rectangle and I'll drag and create a rectangle. Now I may not be happy with the fill of the rectangle, so in the Shape Styles group you have the ability to format shapes in terms of its fill colour and you can just roll over them to see what they look like. So I might go for this particular colour. You've also got things like Line Colour which is the outside of the shape which I might just choose No Line Colour. And you've also got things like effects where you can add a glow, some soft edging, make it beveled looking, and all sorts of different effects. And if you just want to quickly format or style your shape, you have got quick styles here that you can choose from. So I might just choose this particular style here. So that's one shape. Now I'm looking for a star. So I'm just going to search shapes on the left hand side here and type star. When I press enter, Visio will start searching for every shape it can possibly find with the word star in its name. So here we have a variety of stars and I'm just going to go for the six star here. And I'm going to drag that on top of my shape. I'm then going to stretch it out a little bit. Position and move it a little bit. And there. There's my two shapes. Now what I'd like to do is combine the two shapes. So I'm going to lasso, let me just put, turn my pointer tool back on, lasso these two shapes. Now if I go to my Developers tab, I now have an Operations button that's lit up because I have more than one shape selected. And if I choose the Combine option, it's combined those two shapes to form one shape, which is basically means it's taken out the hollow in the centre and created a shape for me that has a hollow star in the centre. And so that's an example of how the combine shape operation works. The next shape operation I'd like to show you is how you use the fragment command. So let's just put this one aside. I'm just going to resize it and move it up to here. And I might even add some text that says that this is the, oops, sorry, no. I don't want to add text to the shape. I want to add text below it that says combine shape operation. And back to my pointer tool and then move it under here. To show you how the fragment tool works, let's search not for a star, but instead for a cross. I may have to scroll down to find any crosses. And here's a cross here. So I'll drag the cross out and make it larger. Then what I want to do is I want to add some lines. So I'm using the line tool and I'm going to draw a line straight through the centre of the shape there and draw another line straight through the centre of here. And move that over a bit using my pointer tool. So what I want to do now is lasso this group and on the developers tab using the operations I want to fragment this shape. What it does is it fragments it now into four 
individual shapes. The line has basically cut the shape into four separate individual shapes. And that's an example of the fragment. So what I'd like to do is maybe highlight this lot and maybe group it and then reduce the size of it, put it over here and this is an example, let's duplicate that, control D, this is an example of the fragment, Oops. F2, fragment shape operation. Let's now have a look at, say, the subtract operation. For this, I'm going to search for a star again. And again, I'll grab the six star. And now I'm going to go to my drawing tools and choose an ellipse. But I'm going to hold the shift key and drag to form a circle. I'll then drag the circle and put it on top of this particular shape. I'll now, I might even change the fill. I'll select these two shapes, pointer tool, select the two shapes. Go to my developers tab and in my operations I want to try the subtract. So I subtract. And what it's done is it's subtracted the circle from the actual star because it was sitting on top. And so you can use a shape to subtract a certain part of another shape. Let's have a look. I'll just call that one there. Let me just control drag that. And F2. And that was a subtract operation. Let's have a look at a union operation. For example, I might go back to home and I might draw a rectangle. Draw another rectangle. Draw a couple of circles, hold the shift and draw an ellipse and control drag to make a copy of it and I want to maybe change the height of that and bring that in a little bit and I want to combine all this to create a shape so I will get my pointer tool, select it all Go to my Developers tab and my Operations and I'll do a Union. When I do a Union, those shapes are now all combined to create one shape. And I can resize it, position it here, and this control drag is a Union shape operation. So there's a variety of shape operations that you can use. Um, just by selecting a shape, going to operations, they include union, combine, fragment, intersect, subtract, join, trim and offset. And these are covered in your notes. Um, so have a play with the various options to see what you can do. Now in addition to working with shape operations, we also often want to add order to shapes. It's particularly if we're about to do an operation, for example. The order means basically who's on the front and who's in the back and who's in the foreground and who's in the background and the various layers. For example, I might control drag and take a copy of the shape here. Oops. Control drag to make a duplicate. And then let's control drag and make a duplicate of this shape here. So we've got two shapes. This one's on the front. And let's actually create a third shape just to <coughs> explain this as well as we can. Okay, now the idea here is if I click this shape and I go to home and I go to my arrange group, you can actually bring this um, to the front. So this star will come in front of the other two shapes, bring to front, straight to the front. And it's actually, if I move it across, it's actually sitting on the other two. Or I can actually send it straight to the back. So it's gone right to the back again. Um, it's now the third um, shape. Or instead of bringing it to the front, I can bring it forward one shape and then bring it forward another shape. Or I can send it backward one shape and send it backward 
one shape. So you can create um, order in that you can send something straight to the back, straight to the front, or you can move it backwards or forward in the order of things so it's sitting in the right order. And so shape order is a, a useful tool as well, particularly if you're going to get into shape operations.